Hello everyone, this is Ying Shou Chen from Georgia Tech. I will introduce our work on towards understanding hierarchical learning benefits of neural representations today. And this is a joint work with Yu Bai, uh, Wang Wang, Cai Ming, Richard from uh, Salesforce Research, and Jason from Princeton, and uh, my advisor Tu Zhang. And this is a work done uh, during my internship at the Salesforce Research last summer. Uh, practical neural networks, uh, they have been shown to be pretty powerful. And uh, we also observe that the deep neural networks are extremely powerful compared to shallow ones. And that there are many empirical observations support this. For example, on the ImageNet classification task, 152 layer residual network outperforms a shallow 18 layer residual network by a margin of 8 to 10 percent top one accuracy. And a common belief to explain this phenomenon is deep neural networks are able to perform efficient hierarchical learning, where each layer in the network learns more and more useful representations for the current task. And there are several existing works explaining the benefits of increased depth in the neural networks. For example, in the classical approximation theory, uh, deep neural networks are shown to be more efficient in function approximation. However, these networks are usually constructed in a weird way, and there is no optimization and generalization guarantees for these constructed neural networks. And there is a recent surge of research concerning neural networks uh, as uh, neural tangent kernel function classes. And, uh, they show that why the neural networks can be efficiently optimized and they generalize as well as shallow learners like kernels. However, in these works, the hierarchical structure cannot be taken into consideration and the neural networks will not benefit from the hierarchical structures. In this work, we will consider a wide three-layer neural network model uh, parameterized in the following equation. Here x is the input feature and the w is the trainable weight parameters. Phi is the activation function and we use a very special fixed representation function h. Uh, here hx equals to sigma vx plus b and the v and the b are also fixed weight parameters during the training. And in fact, this model uh, can be viewed as a two-layer network with the representation function or the uh, vanilla three-layer neural network models. And it turns out that to characterize the optimization and the generalization properties of these three-layer neural networks is very complicated. So we consider the optimization-aware versions of these three-layer neural networks. Uh, the first model is the neural tangent kernel with the representation function h denoted as NTKH, and which is exactly the first order Taylor expansion of the three layer neural network with respect to the weight map parameter w. And we also consider the quadratic expansion denoted as quad h. And in contrast, we consider the uh, networks using raw input which denoted as the NTK raw and the NTK uh, and the quarter raw. And we developed, uh, we developed some theories for the optimization and the generalization properties of these models. And to show the result, we consider learning low rank polynomials F star X uh, parameterized in this equation. And the uh, sample complexity bound are listed in, uh, in these four uh, terms. And we see that the quad H model significantly outperforms the quad raw model. And it also outperforms the NTKH and NTK raw model. However, more interestingly, we found that using the representation function in NTK model does not improve the performance. And if you are interested in our work, please see more details in our paper. Thank you.